a Maglite D size two cell flashlight. And I've lost several of these over the years due to alkaline battery leakage. And you open up the flashlight and this thing is full of corrosion and all the pieces and everything are welded solid and it's a piece of junk. So I've designed an adapter that will convert Maglite flashlights to use the lithium 18650 batteries. This is a 3000 milliamp battery, 3.7 volts. A D cell battery is supposedly 12,000 milliamps, but if this is running an LED bulb, it may very well last longer than that D cell alkaline battery. This is an unprotected 18650. Now you're going to need to be able to machine some aluminum bar stock to make these front and rear spacers to use this adapter. This piece sticking out here is the equivalent of the button on the end of this flashlight battery. And you put the rear spacer in there. When that is making contact with the either some of these flashlights have a spring on the back side of the switch and some just have a, uh, a brass bar. When that's making contact and this spring on the tail cap is pushing down on here, this outside sleeve is just floating. all those pieces in there. Because the spring goes inside here a little bit, this outside sleeve is, of the adapter is just a little bit longer than these two batteries put together. Puts out a good light. What I'm using at the moment is a bulb for a three cell flashlight. A three cell flashlight would be four and a half volts and this lithium battery is 3.7. I'm waiting for the LED bulbs to show up and it will make this flashlight brighter and whiter. I've designed adapters for the three D cell, the three C cell, two D cell, and two C cell flashlights. The STL file for the adapters will be on Thingiverse. I'm going to list each size flashlight separately so nobody gets the bits and pieces mixed up. And there'll be a drawing with each one that shows what goes inside the adapter. The rear and the front spacer and the battery. A guideline for the dimensions. The two cell flashlights are a bit too short because the switch assembly comes back to here it's too short to get more than one of the 18650 batteries in here. So the two cells will hold one battery and the three cell will hold two 18650 batteries. The C size flashlight is a bit short and so the spacers on each end are not very long. And on the D size there's a lot more room in there for spacers and that's a little easier to machine. These are the adapters for the four different size flashlights. These are all printed on the Ender 3 3D printer and they print in the vertical position on a raft. The two cell flashlights, the adapter will only take one battery, but the three cells will take two batteries. And you can see when you put two batteries in here, the spacers are shorter. I'm machining these on my small lathe. The three cell adapters essentially turn those flashlights into a five cell flashlight. Five alkaline batteries is seven and a half volts. You know, two of these together is 7.4. And you couple that with an LED bulb and they will be bright and the battery will last a long time. Plus these are rechargeable and they don't leak.